The other storage are after the update of iOS 15. The system data on your iPhone take a lot of storage. We all know that doesn't have an option to expand the storage on iPhone. If your iPhone is running without storage then at that time you search for free up storage then you see an other or system data taking a lot of storage. The mysterious other or system data folder contain which type of file and how to clear it. First, we go for how to view your other storage. To view how much storage space take by application and other data on your iPhone, go to setting, general, iPhone storage. Wait for some time. This may take for calculation and shows the result. The bar with color shows the overall storage of your iPhone with separate categories, which includes other two. Scroll down and see the list of the application, which take how much storage on it. At last, you can see the system and others. After the update of iOS 15, you can see iOS and system data. My iPhone takes a lot of system data or other storage. What is other storage? The other or system data category on your iPhone or iPad, which contain catch aids, some messages, Siri voices, voice memos, and miscellaneous data, was stored in the same place because that is small to have a separate category. So the system grouped them all into other category or system data. This file inside other storage is actually cache that used for system performance to make a smooth way to connect the file with the system. It also stores some unwanted file to catches help to give the path to the application in a direct way. We go to other and see what Apple tells about the other storage. You can see system data includes catches, logs, other resources currently in use by the system. This value will fluctuate according to system need. The other stories doesn't include photos, videos, medias, and apps. How to clear other stories or system data? There is no direct way to identify and delete the file of the other stories or system data. We can't be able to clear the other mysterious stories completely because the other category contains useful data and improves your system performance and iOS experience. You can delete it to 0kb. First, clear your Safari cache. If you browse Safari or Chrome that your iPhone stores cache and other data that you don't need but that only take your storage, so you have to clear them to make space on your iPhone.
go to setting find safari and open it scroll down and tap clear history and website data If you use Chrome, Opera, Firefox or browser stores cache that you have to clear them first. Delete iMessage and mail data. If you text a message more than your other store is filled with a lot of data, so you have to remove it. Go to a setting. Message, message history, tap on keep the message. You can change the iMessage setting to save. You can see keep messages save forever by default but you can change the setting to 1 year or 30 days. App data stored by application is similar like other data. So you have to do once that process. Go to setting, general, iPhone storage. Choose any app and tap on it. You can see the detail about upload app, what Apple tells. Tap on upload app. Tap on Offload app. This will free up storage. Delete and reinstall the app. The app storage data are not classified as other, but catches file that used by the app takes some space on other storage or system data. So, remove and install app help to free up storage from others or system data. Select the app which you want to remove. Tap and hold. Tap on remove the app. After you removing the app, you can download and install that app later, by which you can free up some storage. Remove Siri Voices If you download more voices for your Siri, then the other stories will increase means you have to remove all necessary Siri voices. Go to setting. Go to Siri and search. Siri and detection history. Tap on it. And delete Siri and detection history. Tap on it. Year update. If you update your lower storage iPhone like 16, 32 or 64 GB PIA a year cause low storage issues. If the update was interrupt or file remaining after the update, the process of updating required download packages to unpacking them too. So the process needs additional storage to perform.
So I recommend you all update via iTunes. Back up and reset your iPhone. This is the best way to completely wipe your device and start as fresh. Before doing that process, back up all your important data on PC. And the battery must be over. 50% charge. Go to setting, general, reset, erase all content and settings, tap on securely erase. If promoting password insert it or iCloud password also may have to put if find my iPhone is enabled. This process reset your iPhone but you are on the same iOS that previously running on iPhone. Update and restore. Before doing that process, back up all your important data on PC and the battery must be 50% overcharged. If you update and restore your iPhone by this method that erase all the data of your iPhone and upgrade to the latest version 2. If that stuff is helpful and you have to get some new idea, then share with friends. Drop your valuable comment below and don't forget to post any query about that video. Feel free to contact us. We always give you information that is accurate. We don't deal with any spam. If you want to update yourself on Apple Center content, subscribe to our channel. The GSM Solution. Hello, this is Akash from the GSM Solution and peace out till the next time.